For this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break, I will be trying a beer that I've never done on the Brutal Battle Beer Break before, and I actually just had my first of its variety on the podcast not long ago. Um, it, the style is a Grotzer, uh, or Grotzer, I don't know, I say Grotzer, uh, which is like a German smoked wheat style beer. Um, so... Uh, I remember the first one I had I was very confused by. I wasn't huge on it. It was the New Belgium Lips of Faith one that they did with um, Three Floyds. So just wasn't a fan. But let's give it another shot. Uh, This one is done by Westbrook Brewing. Westbrook Brewing, as you can see. I mean, they don't, you know, there's not a lot of flash to their their labels, but you can take a look at that. Um, They're out of Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. This beer is... 3.4% 3.4% alcohol by volume, so very, very low as far as the alcohol goes. Man, that had a lot to it. I have a feeling. Here it comes. God, not good. Not good out of the gate. <laughs> Shit. Okay, um, so that, that was kind of a gusher. I was able to, you know, make sure it wasn't a total mess, but obviously, as you can see, a lot of head to that thing. It is like, that is so cloudy. You know, oh my god, that's so cloudy. It kind of looks like grapefruit juice a little bit. Not like pink or red grapefruit, but, you know. Good god. I have a feeling there's going to be an issue with this. It's going to be extremely carbonated based on what just happened. I hope that's not the case. Smell, super, super weedy. I get that kind of lemon peel smell to it, some coriander. There's a bit of the smoke. Um, I definitely get the smoke in there, but it's also imparting like a little bit of like a salinity to go with it as well. Man, that's the smoke is making it also smell a little like shoe leather-ish, which is interesting. Um, it's not really smelling totally appetizing. It's, it's also bubbling up in here in case you can't see. Still trying to get out of that bottle. We'll see. So when I taste it, I mainly get that wheat flavor with some smoke and a bit of that kind of salinity to go with it. There's a little bit of a tart aspect uh, coming out on the end, which might be why it's acting acting this way out of the bottle. It could be a little, um, a little bit of an infection, but kind of going to be honest, I don't think it's too bad. I think that little kind of twinge of tartness on the end is kind of nice. It's a little bit of a funk to it as well. And it goes well with that kind of smoky aspect. So, uh, happy accident? I don't know. Very, very carbonated, very effervescent on your tongue. But, um, nice, easy beer to sip. The smoke isn't too overpowering, which is pretty nice. Um, I kind of like it. It's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to share this with the wife and see what she thinks. She liked the other Grotzer before that I didn't like, but hey, this, this is quite interesting. And Westbrook, you did a good job. Let's see what they said about it. Uh, it's, it's their interpretation of a Grotzer, they say, which is a traditional German style smoked wheat beer brewed with lots of hops and 90% oak smoked wheat malt. The result is a spritzy, smoky, and refreshing ale. It is all of those things. So, very cool. Thank you very much, Westbrook. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And stick around, because I'll be having plenty more beers coming your way. Uh, Something else to kind of say, if you have any beers that you would love to see me do on one of these videos, you can go on iTunes, search Brutal Battle, and give me a uh, rating and review on there. And then send me an email at brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. Let me know that you did that rating and review, and then give me a list of a few beers that I could pick from, and I'll go and grab one, do one of these videos, and give you a shout-out in it. So just a little bit of an incentive to get some ratings and reviews. But thanks again, everybody, and go get yourself an awesome beer.